All right, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. J. Rowe here, host, Big Hair Hits, AlleghenyMountainRadio.org, every Monday, 8 p.m. And just going to show you how to set up your own nerd room. I don't know if a nerd room is the same as a man cave, but I guess this is as close as it gets. Uh, this is a little bit different than the other one. We just moved into another house, and this room's a little bigger. And I feel I've maximized the space as far as being organized and whatnot. And uh, the camera, as we do our little tour here, can span the entire room instead of just hiding half of it because it has like dirty laundry and whatnot in it. So let's start over here. Let's see. You got your little end table here. Do you got your remotes, TV, then you got your DVD, VCR combo, little homemade coaster there. A little travel chess set starting to play chess again you got a chess club going with the kids at school and uh, of course we need the aha uh -huh, the Asia poster frame there you go take that Steve Carell bam actually I think that poster looks cooler that's out their second album which was Alpha and the artiste is Roger Dean you know does a lot of yes albums and psychedelic type stuff and uh, we have our old school CRT and you can see me CRT TV tube TV just cuz it's um, the old school games look good on it and the light gun games as we'll demonstrate uh, actually work on it the newer HD ones they don't work and uh, let's see what's on top of the TV some of the favorite books I'm working on right now you got your fighting fantasy of course and uh, nine volumes, there's one I'm carrying around. Actually, no, it's all ten. My bad. And I uh, got the dice. And you got your Dragonlance Chronicles. There's about 60 or 70 in that series. So I'm working on that green one right there. Is <laughs> the one I'm on next. And I uh, got Shakespeare's Complete Works, of course. And... Uh, Let's demo really quick what we have here. You got your two flashback systems. Because they're so lightweight, you got your ColecoVision flashback and television flashback. They're so lightweight that I just use tape, stuck them. So there's saving some space right there. Boom, and what do we have here? You got your Sega Genesis with the Sega CD hidden under there. Your Dreamcast Sega under there. And Sega Saturn proudly sitting with the Microsoft Xbox. And then you have representing the Atari. You got your PlayStation 2. That also plays PlayStation 1 games. And your VCR DVD combo. And you got your uh, old school Windows XP computer. Running one of my favorite games right there, Millipede, and of course there's a trackball there. And then the uh, keyboard is tucked right against the wall there, just out of the way. That's cool, I think. If you notice, all the power buttons are on all these systems. <laughs> so we'll just show you how easy it is to be organized as far as nerd stuff goes. You have two switch boxes here. You got one switch box that's plugged into another switch box which all these systems are hooked up to. And uh, you just mush the buttons to figure out which one goes with which. Right now, this uh, plug and play Pac-Man collection is on right there. Boop, see? No big deal, right? Pac-Man Plus going right there. And uh, you just start mushing the buttons and let's see what happens. Here we go. Uh, boom, nothing happened there. There we go, that's the, what is that? Oh, that's the Sega Saturn. That's Virtua Cop 2. Excellent reason to even own a Saturn. Then we have the Sega Dreamcast. We have Sega Marine Fishing. We used to bring that to school and play that on a projector. Kids love that game, it's awesome. Pac-Man Plus again. Let's go down to the other Switch box, start motion buttons. There is, what, Time Crisis 2 for the PlayStation 2. Excellent light gun game. And ColecoVision Flashback. 
and television flashback. And then one more button way in the back uh, to get us our Xbox. Tao Fang, Fist of the Lotus, one of my favorite games for the Xbox fighting games. And then you go over to your Atari and your Sega Genesis. Let's see. All you gotta do is turn the channel, I believe. Here we go. And there's your Sega Genesis playing Golden Axe, one of my favorites on that system. And then you turn on your Atari and turn the channel. And that didn't work. Oh, it doesn't work because you gotta turn off the Genesis, my man. Let's turn that off. There. Now, there you go, Atari, Decathlon. Not one of my favorites, I just forgot it was in there. But, decent game. Here's a run, jump, all that. All right, so that's all the video game hoop de doo So see how easy that was? You just got a couple switch boxes, all that. And uh, you got all your games right here and binders, whatnot, right? And then, as far as more game stuff, I used to keep stuff in boxes, but I got a little smarter and just got these lids from the boxes. So I got one Atari collection right there. See, you can just slide it in, slide it out. It's kind of kind of like drawers almost, right? And you got another one here, pow. More Atari stuff, very cool. And then, continuing forward, we have your Sega Genesis stuff. Sega Dreamcast over here, and then there's that Sega Nomad, which you've seen in another video, la la la. And again, the key is to put everything, be able to have everything at your fingertips and then put it away, miscellaneous controllers. And then you got some more miscellaneous controllers. Boom, there it is, nice. And then we have our musical instruments. Uh, there's Black Beast. I keep that at school, but we're on Christmas break right now, so I don't want to keep it at school. For you to get stolen. And then we have our bass over here. Old PV amp. We got the pedal going there. Got the newer Fender Electric whammy bar. Got a cheap little Yamaha amp. It's a lightweight, cool uh, hang around. And you got your Guitar Hero drums, of course, just to kind of have fun with. You got your uh, Fender Gemini 2 acoustic over here. A little reading material, I'm trying to sleep. Maze, Bruce Lee, Rush Biography, all that. My clock, my lamp, my little snoozer area there. And then the closet actually isn't bad either. Because if you open the closet, you got some uh, board games up there. There's Stat Thief, Indiana Jones, DVD game. And uh, let's see, da da da, my work clothes, la la la. Got my wrinkle releaser hanging up. And a little lint roller, boom, and my DJ box is down there, all the CDs and whatnot. And that's about it. I just got a basket of dirty clothes, which is right at the bottom, which we won't look at. And uh, that's it. All right. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. So that's how I set up my nerd room, just to keep everything organized. Nice, neat, ready to go. All right, everybody, tune in to Big Hair Hits every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m., AlleghenyMountainRadio.org. Peace.